Hello friends, this is Srikant. Today we will be solving this problem sum of an array of hyper band. Basically we are given an array of length n and we have to find an index such that the sum of the elements on the left side of that element is equal to the sum of elements on the right side of that index. Okay. So and these are the constraints. These are the number of test cases the number of elements in an array in the array elements itself and i ok so for example in this test case there are 4 elements in the array and this will be the answer this will be the index such that the sum of elements on the left side is equal to the sum of elements on the right side ok <laughs> there is no solution for this answer can verify yourself okay now what we do is first of all since the size is big uh, we declare type def <laughs> long, long and we declare an array of ll what we do is basically we uh, create a prefix array uh, such that uh, every element at index i contains the sum of all the elements from 0 to i ok i will de declare the size of it as 1 lakh ok since this is a global array it will be initialized to 0 now we have to scan the number of test cases say t and uh, since t is between 1 to 10 we use integer variable only now after that while there are test cases remaining we have to process uh, first uh, create the array so we only need the prefix arrays we do not need the original array so we only use this pre array to store the sums ok so uh, for c in n first we have to scan the number of elements in the array and uh, we'll use say ll n ok after that what we do is for int i now now i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so for each uh, element we scan c in we keep it in a temporary variable say x we use the temporary x here if it is the first element if i is equal to equal to zero then we simply put it in the pre array since we do not have to sum anything ok else we compute the sum using the previous sum is equal to p of i minus 1 plus x ok done uh, now we have all the prefix elements now we will use this array to find the uh, index such that uh, sum on the left side of the index is equal to the sum of elements on the right side of the index. For that uh, we will run a loop again since uh, from i is equal to 1 to i less than n minus 1 i plus plus ok. now so to find this prefix of i minus 1 will give me the in uh, sum till 0 to i minus 1 for finding the sum from i plus 1 to n what we do is we use this check pre of i minus 1 will give me the left side sum is equal to equal to for right side sum what we do is pre of n minus 1 
minus pre of i so pre of i includes the left side sum plus the uh, current element so after subtracting this we will get the from the last element last element of the pre which will be the sum of the whole array we'll get the right side sum okay so if this is true we set a flag flag equal to true okay and sorry uh, so we break the loop okay after the loop ends we will check if the flag is true then we will print that we have found the index by printing as yes else we will print No. Okay. We have to define a flag here. And we have to initialize it by false for ev for every new test case. Okay. Now we'll try to run this. This computes the uh, solution in order of n. So there is a bracket missing somewhere. Is that the primary expression before? Ah, yes. There is i plus plus here. Okay, we run say this computes in order of n. So we see that at the sample test case passes, we'll submit the code now. is one error this is due to the fact that uh, in the corner case when we have only one element in the array for that we have to by default return for return true of n equal to equal to one okay since uh, that that will not go inside this loop the flag remains false that's why we have to do this we'll submit it again voila all the test cases is passed and therefore this ends this problem thanks for watching